thing about XR is that it's moving computing to a place that's truly as natural as you can. Hey Gemini, what have I missed in the Besties group chat? Today, in this video I tell you, Google has announced the Android XR operating system, which is made in collaboration with Samsung to bring helpful experiences to headsets and glasses. Samsung will launch the first VR headset to run on Android XR, which will be codenamed Project Muhen. The VR headsets will sport a circle-to-search function, which can be used to find information with a simple gesture. Let me start by sharing a two-minute introduction video from Google. After that, we'll dive into some of the exciting features. These features could very well represent how you'll integrate AI into your daily life in the near future. Why would you say now is the right moment to launch XR? Yeah, so for pretty much the history of computing, we've been using the rectangular box of a screen display. Whether it's monitors, laptops, tablets, or phones, XR has the power to extend beyond those boundaries. I think now is the perfect time to work on XR because you have a convergence of all these technologies and Gemini is key to powering Android XR. The underlying technology allows us to process inputs from all different kinds of signals, much like you process the real world. The magical thing about XR is that it's moving computing to a place that's truly as natural as you can imagine it. Android XR is our new platform for headsets and glasses. It offers some of the best tools for developers to use, and it reduces a lot of the friction. We've been in this space since Google Glass, and we have not stopped. Things like AR Core, the Geospatial API, Lens, Live View, Translate, and now Gemini. We can take those experiences, which already work great, and find new ways to be helpful for people. When we talk about headsets and glasses, we think about headsets as episodic products that you put on for a specific reason. When you're watching the game, Gemini could break down everything about Freddy's Grand Slam. This is the most visceral incarnation of any 3D space or spatial environment you, can, you could think of. I can't wait to spatialize old videos. It'll feel like you're right in your memories again. And then we think about glasses as all-day products that you use to get value throughout your day. Our technology really enables us to shrink down the displays that go into the glasses. We'll see more of these highly portable devices that will more and more look like the ones I'm, I'm, I'm wearing right now. With glasses, you'll feel like you're a local, no matter where you are. There's no way we could build this platform other than collaborating very closely. We've been working with Samsung for a number of years, and so we look for opportunities where we could really marry each other's strength in creating something new. From software and UX to hardware, cross-functional partners across both companies have worked seamlessly around the clock as one team to build a powerful XR platform. We've learned that we can build the best platforms with an ecosystem of developers, designers, and device makers. A lot of deep collaboration happens for us to bring the best solution to the ecosystem, to the platform, and to the users. Alone, you can go fast, but together you can go far. And the only way we'll get there is if we build this together. We've reached a pivotal moment where multiple technologies are converging to deliver a truly immersive augmented reality experience. I'd like to focus on three key areas to explore how this transformation is happening. When these advanced glasses are paired with the capabilities of Gemini, they create a next level experience that can enhance everyday life in ways the average person will find irresistible. Let's take a closer look. Hey Gemini, what have I missed in the Besties group chat? Nee and Sarah are discussing meeting later today at Geo's Pizza to celebrate Kelsey's promotion and are wondering if you can make it. Are there any vegan options there? Yes. Reviews rave about the mushroom penny pasta. Great. Tell the group I'll be there. Oh, and can you send the pic of the blue just to let them know what I'll be wearing tonight? How's this? Awesome. Send it. Is there a store where I can get a card for Kelsey nearby? Serendipity cards is a good choice. Let's go. Imagine this, having real-time directions seamlessly integrated into your glasses. It feels like something straight out of the future. Picture yourself in an unfamiliar city where you have no idea where anything is. Instead of fumbling with your phone, you could simply ask your glasses, Hey, where's this place? Or, can you guide me to that spot? 
No need to take out your phone, especially in areas where it might not feel entirely safe. Everything you need would appear right in front of you on a heads-up display, helping you navigate effortlessly to your destination. And it doesn't stop there. These glasses could also be a game-changer for travelers, offering real-time translation to make communication easier wherever you go. Hey, Gemini. Yes. <laughs> Which one is spicier, the beef bulgogi or the bibimbap? Bibimbap is spicier, bulgogi is sweeter. With Google Gemini Flash, you now have a tool capable of reasoning in real time, analyzing your current activities, and providing valuable advice on things you might not be familiar with. This technology is set to be incredibly powerful, helping you tackle challenges and gain clarity in areas where you need assistance. Hey Gemini, how should I hang these shelves? A standard way to hang shelves would be to hang them in line, on top of one another. An alternative would be to hang them staggered for a more expressive approach. Let's go with the first option. How do I get started? Step one, decide on shelf placement and mark the wall lightly with a pencil. Use a level to ensure they'll be straight. Where did I put my level? I saw the level last on the console next to you. Place the level on top of the shelf and adjust until the shelf is even. I'm genuinely amazed by the limitless possibilities of the Android XR. Just think about it. You're cooking, and you can ask the model, does this look ready? Or should I add more seasoning? Or imagine needing help with something like, how do I adjust this on my car? Or how do I fix this? The range of applications is truly incredible. Google has announced that Android XR will initially be launched on headsets designed to revolutionize the way we work and explore. The first device to showcase this technology is Project Muhan, developed by Samsung. This headset is expected to be available for purchase next year. They're essentially reimagining how we interact with our favorite Google apps on headsets. Imagine watching YouTube or Google TV on a massive virtual screen. You can even revisit your cherished memories with Google Photos, now in 3D. Whether that feels a bit dystopian or incredibly nostalgic, it's undeniably an impressive use of technology. With Google Maps, you'll be able to explore the world in entirely new ways, like viewing cities and landmarks in immersive view. Since it's Android-based, many of your favorite apps will work seamlessly right out of the box. This opens up exciting possibilities for your entertainment experience. What's truly remarkable is how this technology blends seamlessly with reality. It's not as isolating as VR, but rather a form of augmented reality that integrates with your actual surroundings. This lets you enhance your real-world experiences without losing touch with reality. In my opinion, this could be one of the most transformative products of the decade. I know that's a bold claim, but the potential here is extraordinary. Having used the Meta Glasses myself, I can imagine if they were equipped with Gemini AI, allowing me to engage in conversations and reasoning based on what I encounter daily. Honestly, I'm not sure I could choose not to use them because of the possibilities they offer. Throughout the day, we often find ourselves switching between tabs to use ChatGPT. But imagine how much easier it would be if you had a pair of smart glasses on. You could simply ask, hey, what's on my screen? Or, I have this in my hand, what should I do? It's exciting to think about how AI could seamlessly integrate into our daily lives in such innovative ways. For those who believe Google is lagging behind in AI and hardware development, let me assure you that they are actively working on even more innovative products. Looking ahead, Google is clearly focused on advancing their AI capabilities and introducing cutting-edge solutions, including the new Android XR platform. That's all for today, but stay tuned, because the next part is coming soon, and you won't want to miss it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you're the first to know when the next video drops. See you soon!